Hey there. Welcome to AB Engineering Guild, the channel where we explore everything about agricultural and biosystems engineering in the Philippines. Today, we're bringing you 10 able review questions to help you prepare for the upcoming agricultural and biosystems engineering licensure exam. These questions cover both theoretical concepts and board style computations, so make sure you've got your paper and pen ready. Let's get started. Area 3. Part 1. 1. What system is used to grade the performance of a constructor for a specific kind of project using a set of criteria approved by NADA Infracom? A. ISO Rating System B. CPES Constructor's Performance Evaluation System C. Contractor Quality Assurance System D. NADA Project Appraisal Framework Answer B. CPES Constructor's Performance Evaluation System 2. An individual or group of evaluators accredited by CIAP tasked to undertake performance evaluation of a constructor's project using the CPES guidelines and or evaluation requirements of the construction industry. A. Project Management Evaluators, PME. B. Certified Infrastructure Appraisers, CIA. C. Constructor's Performance Evaluators, CPE. D. Civil Engineering Supervisors, CES. Answer. C. Constructors Performance Evaluators, CPE. 3. In farmstead planning, which zone is designated for machinery storage and services? A. Zone 1. B. Zone 2. C. Zone 3. D. Zone 4. Answer. B. Zone 2. 4. What is the weight assigned for vertical projects, during construction, in the CPES evaluation? A. 30% B. 50% C. 70% D. 90% Answer. C. 70% 5. In CPES evaluation, which aspect should be studied under both, during construction, and, upon completion, phases? A. Project financing. B. Workmanship and time. C. Permit acquisition. D. Land survey. Answer. B. Workmanship and time. 6. What do you call the amount of energy required to convert a liquid into vapor at constant temperature and pressure? A. Enthalpy of fusion. B. Enthalpy of vaporization. C. Thermal conductivity. D. Specific heat. Answer. B. Enthalpy of vaporization. 7. Which thermodynamic process is characterized by no heat transfer? A. Isentropic. B. Isothermal. C. Isobaric. D. Isochoric. Answer. A. Isentropic. 8. What is the amount of heat required to change a substance from solid to liquid at its melting point, without changing its temperature? A. Specific heat capacity. B. Enthalpy of vaporization. C. Enthalpy of fusion. D. Thermal conductivity. Answer. C. Enthalpy of fusion. 9. What property quantifies how strongly a material resists the flow of electric current? A. Conductivity. B. Magnetism. C. Capacitance. D. Resistivity. Answer. D. Resistivity. 10. What is the ability of a material to resist bending deformation and return to its original shape after the stress is removed? A. Plasticity. B. Malleability. C. Elasticity. D. Ductility. Answer. C. Elasticity. That wraps up our ABLE Review 2025, Area 3. Stay focused, stay consistent, and don't forget, Every quiz is a step closer to your license. Follow AB Engineering Guild for more review questions, tips, and motivational content. Like, share, and tag your review buddies. Let's pass the board exam together, one question at a time.